ladies and gentlemen, James the Heat Kitchen. Three ever to win four world championships in four different divisions, in four different battles, the Hitman, Thomas. taking on a guy in his first really, really big fight, James Kinchin, but he is the defending NABF super middleweight champion. Barnes landed a couple of good left jabs and Kinchin smiled at him, Tim. <laughs> but watching Kinchin in the gym, he eats those left jabs. And there's one of the underlooked weapons of uh, Thomas Hearns, the left hook to the body. Good combination scored by Hearns. Good right hand that wobbled Kinchin. Well, it's the vintage Thomas Hearns first round, isn't it? Well, we're not kidding. Oh, my. Well, one thing, he's not punch shy after that punch out with Iran Barkley. He's letting it all hang out. Whether he can is debatable. Good combination by Kinchin. Right hand on the end of it that landed. Kinchin winning this title on October 13th of this year. Marlon Mack, a bacon and NBF crown. Good right hand landed. Burns weighed in at 165 and a half. Kinchin 166. And now he pointed out he's very comfortable with this weight. Kinchin. Good right hand by Kinchin. Backed up Burns. Bell sounds in round one. And Burns' plan was to come out firing. He did that in round one, not wanting to give the opportunity to Kinchin to duplicate the feat of Barkley. Hey, Tommy doesn't throw too many right hands better than the one that just landed. Although, the next one could just as easily put Kinchin out. <laughs> there it is again. And it didn't. And firing back is James Kinchin. Hearns. <laughs> He's had trouble catching on occasion. Let's try to throw a right hand over that jab. Thomas Hearns, 30 years of age. Professional bouts, only three defeats. And you know, most of his good punching uh, wins were against middleweights, junior middleweights, and welterweights. Now he's hitting a bigger man now. And I think there is a difference because he's landed his perfect punch three or four times, and so far nothing's happened. Right hand over, hand right from Kinchin scored. Bangs in the body low again. Kinchin keeping some pressure on her. Punches him. Kinchin compliments him. He's talking to him. Hearns busy with the jab, but less effective in landing it here so far in round number three. Good defense by Kinchin. Good right inside by Hearns. Good right. Sneaky. Thomas Hearns' legs to start going after all. It's toward the end of the third round. Oh, a sharp right by Hearns, but didn't move Kinchin at all. It was a good scoring punch. Right that lead score, yeah. Yeah, he's been effective with that. Not really a booming right hand because his weight has already shifted, but it's sneaky because you think the left hook is coming. Oh, go from Kinchin again. The overhand right of Kinchin, he saw that Barkley fight. He watched it closely. He's throwing those rights, and occasionally he's landing. And if they don't hurt Hearns now, they could in the future in this problem. Now Tommy's trying something different. He's waking up a little bit. Fencing with his hands, with both hands, and then throwing those darting punches. That he's but Kinchin knocks him down. Kinchin walked right in and threw a right hand that sent Hearns to the canvas. That's close, Tim. Thomas Hearns is still wobbly as Mills Lane, Mills Lane looks him over and we're in the fourth round. Well, we saw last round, he, got he just got tapped and he wobbled a little bit, Tim. His legs are gone. Kinchin pouring it on, but he can't get a clean shot so far. Kinchin better be careful. Hearns is still winging those right hands. Legs are gone, Tim. Hearns into a shell there. Kind of stay up. Gone. It's the fourth round. That's when Tommy Hearns 
open. Hearns wants to hold on. Mills lean, just not big enough to separate them. So Hearns buys a little rest time there, holding on, but Kinchin wins another right. Hearns doing what he has to do here, hang on. Mills lane could disqualify him if this keeps up. He could easily disqualify Hearns. He has to talk to him. He's got it. He's he got has to, to talk to him. He has to talk to Hearns. He hasn't talked to him. No, he hasn't. He's more intent on trying to muscle him apart. The left sends Hearns walking back again. Kinchin pouring it on, but he can't seem to get a clean shot. Hearns trying to stay close and grab. Again, Lee finally gets him separated. Final seconds of round four. Hearns trying to get his feet underneath. Dancing a little bit. Just enough to have them drop right there. And a that... sig significant development. A point was taken away as we look at Tommy Hearns go down by Mills Lane for the holding of Tommy Hearns appropriately so. Those to hit Bond though. Kinchin ripped the right hand, just grazed the nose of Hearns. Kinchin stalking well, stalking patiently. Well, right hand lead by Hearns. Kinchin just laughed at him, Tim. There's another right hand by Tommy Hearns. Kinchin lands one of his own in the year, not a whole lot on it. And, uh, certainly very patient, very much uh, in, in control here. Looks quite relaxed to me. It's been a pretty good round, though, for Tommy, Tommy Hearns. Hearns. Yeah, absolutely. Kinchin are trying to get close again to Hearns. Round number six, scheduled for 12. This is an important round in the fight. Kinchin has to turn it around again. And, and that's the way to do it, I think. Ripping left hooks to the body. And to the right. That turns in trouble again. Another right lands. His overhand rights. Landing in Will. Hearns. Good shot by Hearns. Uppercuts inside. Again, it's the pitcher and the catcher. It's never boring when Hurt steps to the ring, that's for sure. Now, one thing Tommy doesn't like is heart and competitive spirit. Oh, nothing stronger here in the sixth. Punching with more snap again. He may have stunned Kinchin uh, uh, fighting off those ropes. Burns is ripping some pretty good left hooks yeah. underneath. That's a warning from Mills Lane for the last one low. Remember back many years ago to the Leonard fight when he simply didn't know how to do that because they never had to, knocking everybody out. Got himself in all kinds of trouble with that. Pass the right hand again. In the corner, Tommy will find out. They will all find out. Extension is short right a whole lot on it. Short with the right hand, low with the left. And Mills Lanes was not in position to see that punch there. Otherwise, I think the point would have been deducted from Kitchen. Tommy is getting tired. Good right hand by Hearns. Again, here's a case where Kitchen has the opportunity that he's wanted so long. He should let it all hang out. This is his career right here at the age of 30 in a weight division where he's been fighting better against the guy who, let's face it, isn't what he once was. So. It is an opportunity for him. Tommy to his credit hanging in there. At the end of round seven, not uh, really a much of a round for either guy. Tommy really getting caught against the ropes a lot now and in the corners. Tie it out. Tommy Hoods is a tie it out. trying to find an opening. Hearns just covering up, resting on the ropes. Good right hand on the chin by Kinchin. Right got through the guard of turns. Excellent body shots. Well, Kinchin taking advantage of Hearns' rest, and then he fires off of the right hand. But he's straightened up by a right back from Kinchin. What heart that oh. Tommy Hearns has. That's why this guy was a champion. A champion's heart. What a competitor. 
doesn't have much left, but whatever he has, you're gonna see it. And he's wailing with that right hand. I'm sure James Kinchin thought, this is it, I've got Tommy right now, and he didn't. And to the 30-second mark we go in round eight. They exchange right hands. We're back to your theory about the pitcher and the catcher, Joe. That's what it is. Kinchin's a much better catcher thus far in the fight. Uh, every time Tommy, oh, close left back. That's Tommy's one of his best punches in a fight. And a right hand from her. Combination fell short with the right hand, but scored with a jab again as the bell sounds. Ending round eight. lands those punches. Kitchen isn't. And swelling now more evident around the right eye of Burns. There's left a left hook face. A good one from Kitchen. Boy, he's jabbing, and the right hand is right there for him. He's just not there. It is. And through it then, but it's always to the head. It throws it to the body. Gonna land that left hook. Right hand lead, and then a slapping right hand of the ear of Hearns. He just won't gamble, Al. Maybe that's why he was always been one step behind the parade. Very possible. And I'll tell you, Tommy Hearns trying to use the jab to keep him off. Now Kitchen's walking through that jab pretty well, though. Well, we here is a uh, trainer. Holler heat in the final seconds. Trying to steal around at the end doesn't always work. So don't buy that. I don't think it's been that bad around, though. No, 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 not bad. Jams by Hearns. Oh, there's that nice right to the body. Now, that one was a good one. Good left counter from Kinchin. Then he should jump right on him. Uh, yeah. If he wants to get in this round, he's going to have to throw a couple of punches, too. Yeah, to throw. Good right hand by Hearns. A good right hand lead by Hearns, but he wobbles back. His legs are just not... He's just a tired guy, but what a job he did. This is the final round. leaned in and James Kinchin threw about five very hard punches. Kinchin is fighting the way I would call it a sparring partner mentality. Uh, like he's in the gymnasium. Okay, fix your headgear. The headgear put down over your eyes. You know. Right hand by Hearns. But a good count is by Look at Hearns. Doesn't have a leg under. And he's still landing punches. At least, though, that is making Kinchin fight back. This is an astonishing 12th round. Well, your point is still there. He goes right back to kind of marching in, going to the, the, the jab, look for something, instead of letting the other punches go. Tommy has all the fire. No legs and all fire. Would like to see Tommy forget about boxing after this fight. He is not a top fighter. That's 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 simple. He's good, but he is not a top championship what fighter. What is Kitchen waiting for? Oh, he hurt Tommy now. Look at the guts that that Tommy Hearns has. <laughs> Good solid left to the body by so, Hearns. So that three-point round now is a big, big mountain for Tommy to overcome. So Kinchin just doesn't punch. That's it. It's all over. Hearns and Kinchin go 12. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official scoring. Larry Rosadilla has the bout, 114 to 114. Bill Graham scores it, 115 to 112. Cindy Barden has it, 114 to 112. For the winner, who is now the WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World, the Hitman Thomas Hayes! Well, there you go. 
Thomas Hearns. Two judges went his way. One scored at a draw. And he did overcome the fourth round. But well, knocked down for sentimental the reasons. Point. For sentimental reasons, you know, you like to see Tommy Hearns win the fight because he showed so much heart. But I certainly thought that it was too much for him to overcome that, that early knockdown. James made me worse. So it was a good fight. I, I think James is a hell of a fight. I, well, he fought a, an excellent fight. How close were you to going out there when he had you down and in trouble? Well, he had me hurt, but I felt that I took it off right quick and I was able to come too. James, were you surprised at the decision at all? Oh, very surprised. I felt that I won the fight. Uh, it was a close fight, but I felt that I pulled it out. But, you know, uh, Tommy was after a fifth title and uh, he gave it to him.